what's up y'all it's your girl queen season i am back with another video and as y'all can see i have this beautiful green look it's giving where the money reside where the money reside where the money reside because that's what we getting in 2021 we need to be where the what where the money reside so if you want to know how i got this beautiful beautiful green makeup look then stay tuned for the rest of the video happy new year y'all Hey guys, y'all know I'm coming back and we have our Mario Badusku's Rose Water and we just adding a little hydration to our face before we start going in with our flawless application. So I got my NYX eyebrow pencil in the color Espresso and I'm just going to make a light outline on my eyebrows so that we can get our eyebrows popping, okay? So as you can see, I'm just lightly outlining the shape of my eyebrows and this is like the natural shape of my eyebrows. So I just follow that and just add a little tail to the end per. So I'm doing the same thing for the other side and I'm just outlining them before I go back with a gel eyebrow pomade to make it a little darker. So... Yes, we getting the eyebrows together. Come on, Miss Girl. Y'all know my eyebrows is always two different shapes, but <laughs> whatever. So I'm just taking my brush and just brushing them out so I can get that little faded look, you know. So I'm going in with my Milani eyebrow pomade. And I'm just putting that all over a flat angled brush. And I'm just going back over top of what I already outlined with the NYX line. And as you can see, this liner is much darker than the NYX. So I like to put that on the middle to the end of my eyebrow so it can really give it like that natural ombre look. I mean, because one thing I hate is people who have them eyebrows that they look like wet. I know y'all seen the eyebrows. They look just like wet. Just, I don't, I, I don't be feeling those. So I try to keep it as natural as possible. And yeah, that's what I'm going to roll with. I'm going to do my last little brush. And make sure we got our little faded look together. And then, y'all know, I'm going to go back in with my concealers. I'm using Juvia's Place. And I'm going to be using 12 and 15 today. So I'm going to take... 15 which is a little lighter because for the look i'm doing today i really really want it to shine through so as y'all can see i put a little one on the back of my hand and i'm just looking for my flat brush so i'm going to dip it in both and i'm just going to go through the underneath a part and yes you heard me right the un get the underneath a part of your eyebrows Okay, so I'm just putting the concealer all on the underneath part and bringing it down to my eyelids and just making sure we have a smooth blank canvas. So I'm doing the same thing on the other side, bringing it down and just smoothing that out. Yes, girl. So there we are and just bring it across the middle so you don't have a harsh line in between your eyebrows. So I had to go back and put a little bit more on the other side to make sure that everything was blended together. Okay, so I'm just going in with a clean brush and just making sure everything is blended. So I'm going to do the same thing on the top, but I'm using the lighter concealer to line the top of my eyebrows. So I'm just making sure I put it in the middle of my forehead and I'm going to take a brush to buff that out. Because as y'all can see, 
that concealer is way too light for my skin tone so i'm just taking a kabuki style brush and just buffing that out y'all i'm going in with my morphe 35b color burst palette and yes i'm taking this dark hunter green out of this palette y'all because we where the money reside and that's what this look is giving so i'm just taking a dark hunter green and putting it in my crease and as you can see i'm just packing it in there really well so usually the first application it kind of sort of gives you how the product will go on so once i put it on the first time i saw that i'm gonna have to really pack this green on for it to show up the color that i want it to be so as you can see as i spread it out it looks much lighter than what it is so i'm really gonna have to pack this one in so as you can see i'm just putting it in in tapping motions and just blending it out I really had to go in a lot with this one and y'all know just pack 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 as you can see I'm just tapping it in and not spreading it so much but just taking the color and literally tapping it in and moving the brush back and forth that's how you build on your colors and that's how you get really really bold eyes so I'm just going back in and spreading it out y'all I was super excited to do this look and y'all I got this P Louise base I've been seeing everybody talk and rave about these bases and y'all know before I was just using like a regular gel liner so I was super excited to try this um, base and y'all look at this new trick that I saw okay check this out this is a cut crease hack put a little bit of the P Louise base and look up and it tells you like it puts you literally in the right spot to cut your crease and I have hooded eyes so sometimes it's a little hard to know where to cut my crease like above or below but that little hack it works perfectly and look how fast i was able to cut my crease like i'm telling y'all if y'all want to do a cut crease or you want to learn how to do one i'm telling you do that right there get your liner look up to the sky and boom give you the perfect spot to cut your crease and i'm just packing the p louise on and this spreads really easily um, especially compared to the NYX milk pencil that I was using in the past and also the, um, the other gel liner that I was using from Inglot, it's thicker than both of those, but it spreads super easy. So, so far I'm really, really loving the P. Louise base and the color that I got is zero. So white is number zero. So I'm going back in with my Hunter Green out of the 35B Color Burst Palette from Morphe. And I'm just packing that in the outer corners of my eyes. And as you can see, I'm not spreading it. I'm just literally taking it and just tapping it in because I want the color to show up exactly how it is in the palette. And I'm also putting it on a little angle because I don't know. It was just giving me ninja vibes so i was just making it do what it do so i'm packing it in at an angle but making sure that that color really shows up really well and i know y'all probably like what color is she gonna put on bam neon green boo 
Okay, because that's what we want. We want all the green. So look how bright that is. So that neon green is from the Makeup of Murderers Neon Pigment Collection, which I showed in one of my hauls previously. So, being that this is a loose pigment, I'm just taking a flat brush. And as you can see, I spray a little setting um, spray on it so that I could wet the brush so it could pick the pigment up. Because if y'all ever worked with pigments before, y'all know how hard it is to spread pigments. And that's another reason why I'm just tapping the pigment on really lightly because... One, pigments are messy, and two, they don't spread well. Yo, I love it. It's coming together already. So, yes, just tap that in. And it is giving. Yes. So, I put a little bit more spray on it so I could do the other side. But y'all, this neon was really giving it, oh my goodness, giving it to the grass. Like, I really can't wait to go back outside because, I mean, this is a look that you need to give it to the grass in. So y'all know, just keep packing, just keep working. Y'all know makeup takes time. So just keep packing and working it so you can work it out. And yeah. I really love this look. So, I'm just still working it in. If it's worth it, then let me work it. I put the, what, what? So, yeah, y'all had to go back with the Hunter Green, y'all know, because the neon was overpowering it a little bit. Come on, damn. Why was this palette so hard to open? Come on now, Morphe. I need to be able to get to the shadows. So I'm just going packing that back in and making sure that my angle is clearly defined because as you can see a little bit of the neon pigment just like moved over top of the green that I already put. So I'm just going back and putting things back how I had them. So I'm just buffing that out a little bit so I can make sure that I don't have any harsh lines in between the two. And I just have a light fluffy blending brush and I just blended those two colors back together I'm taking my makeup wipe because as I stated earlier I was working with pigments and pigments do fly everywhere so I'm just removing the excess shadow or anything that may have fell on my face and also if y'all noticed something I didn't do that I usually do is put on my primer so I'm definitely doing the eyes first whenever you work with pigments so I have my NYX matte eyeliner and y'all know I have trouble doing this every single video I'm trying to get better but I don't know how to put eyeliner on to save my life like so it took me a while so y'all know usually I'm gonna finish this off camera boom and I'm back so now I'm going to prime my face and I'm using my Benefit Pore Professional Primer. The one I always use. Well, one of the ones that I always use. And I'm just rubbing that in. Of course, my hands are already clean. I'm just rubbing it all into my face and making sure I pay special attention to my nose and my forehead area. And just making sure we got that in there. So, y'all, this is the color Kampala from Juvia's Place. And y'all know every time that I am I do makeup, I told y'all I wear, like, four different shades in Juvia's Place. And they all look fine. But I actually think that this one is my color. Especially after looking at this video, I think that my color is Kampala. But then again, I don't know. Y'all tell me if y'all think that this is the perfect match for my skin tone. So, y'all be the judge. And y'all don't laugh at me because, yes, it's in a jar because I accidentally stepped on it and it squirted all over the place. And it ruined the actual container that it came in. 
So, y'all, I went on Amazon and I ordered me some, um, some of them little containers. And I put my makeup in a jar because I was not wasting no makeup. Purr. So, y'all know my flat brush and I'm just spreading it all over my face. And then I'm taking my big kabuki brush and I always put a little setting spray on it while I blend it out. And y'all know, just keep tapping and blending and just so we can have some a flawless application of our makeup. And always make sure you lift up your scarf because the worst thing is... After you done your makeup and you pull your scarf back and baby, the top of your forehead ain't done. So make sure you lift that up and take care of your edges and all of that. So I'm going back in with the same two concealers so I can get my under eye. So we have colors 12 and 15 that I'm putting under my eyes. And these just blend good together because I don't have time to keep buying a thousand different Juvia's Place um, foundations and concealers trying to find my color. So sometimes you just got to mix some things up that make it do what it do what it need to do for you. And that's what I do. So once I mix it up, it gives me a nice under eye coverage. And as you can see, I'm just spreading it back out. But I also didn't blend this out all the way. And I'm going to show you why. I'm going back in with my beauty blender. And sometimes I wet it all the way. And sometimes I just put a little um, satin spray on it. And just blend the rest of the concealer out. So I'm doing a slight little, a slight little contour. So I just took one of Juvia's Place foundation sticks and this is in the color Nambia. And I just outline my forehead a little bit and right under my cheekbones. I don't do all that contour under nose and all that stuff like, it. that's too much. And I like my nose. So... I just pretty much go in and buff that out. And as you can see, the makeup look is coming together already. Like, I love how it looks. So, y'all know our Sasha Buttercup Powder. And with that same Beauty Blender, I'm going to press it into the Sasha Buttercup Powder. And literally press it in my under eye. I don't spread it across. But I make sure that I press it in. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And just press it in, press it in, press it in. And y'all be careful with this powder. And that's another reason I just say don't spread it across. Because if you do, the powder will fly in your eye. And you're not going to be happy about that. So just make sure you get the chin. Basically everywhere that you put concealer. Go back with your Sasha Buttercup Powder. And now I'm going back with the Nambia. So I can just define my cheeks a little bit more. So now that I put the um, Buttercup Powder, I can like see a little better of where I need things to be. So I'm just checking it out in my mirror. And now... I'm going to take my blush called Bella. This is also from Juvia's Place. It's a nice coral color, but it's one of the darker coral colors. So still, while I have the Buttercup Powder baking, I'll go on and put my blush on. So as you can see, it looked like I got a little bit too much blush on. So while I'm brushing off the buttercup powder, it's also brushing off a little of the excess blush. Because, Miss Gra, you cannot have on all that blush. So, I'm just taking a nice fluffy brush and making sure that I wipe 
all of that extra powder off. And now it's time to highlight. So with the same brush, Ben, it was a clean brush, and we just took some of the powder off. I go in with my highlighters. And this is from Urban Decay. It's one of their little um, highlighter packages. And I just swish it all over all the colors. Okay. Because do it matter? No. So now y'all know I go with my Studio Fix from MAC to set everything down. Because whenever I use liquid, I have to put a powder over top of it. That's just my personal preference. But... I just feel like anytime you're using liquid foundation, you should put a powder on top of it to keep it in place. Keep everything in place. So I went back in after I put the powder on to re-highlight some areas. And I'm spraying setting spray on everything except for my eye makeup. And I'm moving on to do my lips. I cannot find my lip liner. But I found it. So... I'm just going in with a brown lip liner. And just because our eyes are so bold, I wanted to do a nice toned down lip. So I'm just making sure that I have my lips lined really nicely. And I'm taking this little lime crime a uh, lip gloss i don't know this came in like one of these ulta packages you know how to give y'all the gift the gift makeups when you buy like a certain amount of stuff so i think that this gloss did dry matte and after looking at it i didn't really i wasn't really feeling it so now I sprayed my entire face, including the eye makeup with the setting spray. I didn't like how the lips was looking, so I went back in with my Fenty Gloss to make it a little glossy to see how I liked it. Purr. That's it right there. This is my where the money reside look. Okay, 2021, we what? Where the money reside, where the money reside. But no, this look came out so great um this was a inspired look by mad villain she is a dope 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 makeup artist and when i seen this on her page i was like yes this is giving me where the money reside okay and that's where i need to be all 2021 so thank y'all for watching my video make sure you like share subscribe to the channel and i'm gonna be having a makeup giveaway coming soon so stay tuned for that video and queen sees is signing out bye y'all